Hi, I'm Jess from Babes on the Run. Today we're going to do a 15 minute football workout. We're going to Today we're going to work on our obliques, okay, which are the side of our abdominals. And we're going to do some curls, making sure that we get our calves, our hamstrings and our butt all nice and toned. We're going to make sure we do a lot of stabilising, which controls all of our hip flexors and all of our abs, okay? Um, we're going to finish off with some upper arms to make sure that we have a full body workout. Uh, before you start, I just want to make sure that you've got the right ball, so making sure that your knees are parallel to the floor when you're sitting on it, okay? If it's too big or too small, you're not going to get the benefits. Okay, so let's start off with just some bounces. I know it can look a bit silly, but we're actually activating all our core muscles and all our hip flexors as we do it. So just forward and to the side, back and forward. Rotations. These are easy to do in front of the TV, at home, or out in the park, whatever. Let's do some marching. Again, this may not feel like much, but we're getting moving, getting our heart rate started. It's a nice, good warm up. Double march. Okay, once you feel like you're all warmed up, you can keep going for a bit longer if you feel like it. But we'll just start off with some leg raises, okay? So we're doing a really good leg bum core session today. And we're just raising it. So half of what you're doing on the fit ball is taking that core muscle through the balancing and the other half will be specific to the muscles that you're using. So at the moment, we're using our quadriceps and all our core muscles to keep balanced. So just go through 15 seconds. move into a straight leg. Try to keep your body, upper body as straight as possible. Should be starting to feel all the way down here and hold it up for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs and go again. Making sure that you're not stopping on the ground each time, that we're keeping it raised. Fifteen seconds. Again, if you want to make it a bit harder, if it's feeling easy, then go for a little bit longer, go to thirty seconds. Straight legs. And hold for ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, you should be starting to feel warmed up now. So let's stand up and we'll get some squats going on. So the reason we have the ball is we get a full body workout, okay, so that it's right in front of us, making sure that with all the squats that we do, we're sticking our bum backwards, just like we're squatting down to go onto the toilet. A good way to make sure that you're doing it right is if you look down at your feet, and your knees aren't going over the top of your feet, you can still see it, then you're doing it right. As soon as your knees go over, you're not doing the right technique, okay? So making sure that it's going backwards, arms nice and straight, holding the fit ball forward. Fifteen seconds of these. Okay, and then 15 seconds down the bottom. So just lower half. Should be engaging all our leg muscles and bum muscles for this. And now one foot at a time. So raising your heels nice and slowly. It's really important to keep your upper body and your core nice and straight and nice and stable throughout this. Making sure you don't come up as you do it, you stay down. And for the last 10 seconds, both heels up. You'll probably get a bit of a burn through this. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to get into some of the fun stuff with the ball. So we'll start off with some curls. So I want you to put it at the end of your mat, lie down on your back. Heels up, heels should be placed about halfway along the ball. Your hands are flat on the ground to help with stability. Lifting your hips up so that your knees 
hips and shoulders are all in line and bringing your feet underneath. Making sure you keep your breathing regular. A lot of this will be quite hard at the start because you're using all your stabilizing muscles at the same time. But basically, we've got our hamstrings working, our calf muscles working, and our glutes activated. If you want to go one step further, as you bring it in, hold one leg up and hold that for 10 seconds. Then switch and hold for 10 seconds. Otherwise, keep going with your curls. Right, once we've done that, move on to the other side, making sure that we're evening up our body. So hips down, rolling on to here making sure that the ball's right at the end of our feet. Again, we want to keep that body nice and straight like a plank. Okay, so our hips, our uh, shoulders and our knees are all nice and straight and we're bringing that ball underneath. A lot of people will just bring their knees to the ground. Okay, so make sure that you're bringing them up and that your hips are staying up. Don't drop your back, keep that all tight. Make sure you tuck your tummy in at all times so that you're having that support. If you wanna make it a step harder again, as you come out, add in a push-up. Our next exercises is we're going to start our front and our back. So we're just going to do some basic sit-ups. Sitting down so that your hips are supported and your lower back is supported. And we're just going down and up. Make sure you don't stick your hands behind your neck and pull up with that. Okay, so it's either across your chest or at your ears and gently coming up and down. The benefits of doing this on the football is that you get that extra extension. Okay, so as you can see, as I lie down, my back extends a little bit further than what it would be on the ground. The greater range of motion means you're using more muscles for longer, so it's a better exercise. Now going through 30 seconds of each of these exercises should probably get your heart rate up and then you can rotate as many times as you need to. Okay. Evening it up and making sure that we do our back at the same time, keeping our hip on there. If you need to, you might need to stand behind something to keep your feet straight. And we're doing some back extensions. All the way up and all the way down. It's important that you include back exercises whenever you do a big core session because people tend to forget that as you can only kind of see your tummy and you're worried about getting your tummy thin so it's important to even it out and get lower back so. Now we're going to do some floor stuff. So keeping our mat and we're back on the ground again. Nice and flat, make sure that you don't have an arch in your back. If you need to tuck your tummy in so that spine stays straight, that's what you need to do. You're going to have your legs on either side of the ball, hands down by your side, and you're lifting it up. Okay, these leg raises will be activating your lower core muscles, so your lower abdominals. Making sure your head stays on the floor at all times. 
You can mix this one up by going to the sides to introduce your oblique muscles. And back to the straight ones. You can vary this up by making it into a bit of a game. So starting off in your hands and throwing it into your legs and catching it and throwing it back. Looks a bit silly, but it's a lot harder than you expect. Good. Again, just rolling through each exercise for about 30 seconds and then moving on. Okay, so for our side planks, we wanna work our abdominals. So just find a pole or a tree or a chair or whatever you can to stabilize you, okay? We're getting our hip on the ball and our feet against something stable and we're coming down and wrapping our body around, okay? Very quickly, you'll feel all these oblique muscles getting activated. Five more, three, two, one. And we'll just switch to the other side. Again, making sure that we even up all our muscles. Okay, and down we go. Really using your feet to get that stabilization. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stop there. Okay, so now we're gonna do some upper body, okay? So we're coming over the ball this time and getting some stabilization. Now make sure that your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all in line and that you're putting your body weight over the ball, okay? Often people are gonna be sitting back here because they're a bit nervous of falling over. So make sure that you make that commitment. You've got a mat underneath you or somewhere safe, so it doesn't matter if you fall, but odds are pretty high that you won't. So just standing in this position is doing a lot of work. You're using your arms, your shoulders, your back, and your core muscles. And if you wanna push it for a little bit further, then you can start doing some push-ups. Do five and it's at a go. And hold it there again. So hold for 30 seconds, five at the end, and then hold again. To finish off with, we want to start get some of your inner core, okay? So your transverse abdominis, which is the most inner of all of your muscles in your tummy. And we really wanna get that work by doing some balance exercises. This is really good for recovery, for pregnancies, and just for general, okay? So I start off, we're just gonna try and get up with our feet off the edge. And you're just using all the muscles around here to make sure that you're balanced. Try and hold that for 10 seconds. Once you've got to 10 seconds, you can move to the next station, which is knees and hands. Okay, again, 10 seconds. And then hold it up for 10 seconds. Good, now we're done. So if you just wanted the 15 minute workout, then just go through that. If you wanted to do a 30 minute workout, then you can just repeat that a second time. It'll still be just as good. If you wanted to go to a 45 minute workout, then there'll be some 30 minute exercises and workouts at the end of this.